Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is Dr. Tracy Summers. It is indeed a pleasure to have the opportunity for you to listen. Uh, I love love and I just really want to do what I can to help others to enjoy and to get to their place. Remember that every teaching is not for everyone. It's our responsibility to try the spirit by the spirit. Let's go to Genesis 2 and 18. And the title of this teaching is, Wake Up Adam, in Jesus' name. Wake up. Now, the Lord God said, It is not good, beneficial for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper, one who balances him, a counterpart who is suitable, complementary, and complementary for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground every animal of the field and every bird of the air, and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever he called them, a, and whatever the man called a living creature, that was his name. And the man gave names to all the livestock, and to the birds of the air, and to every animal of the field. But for Adam there was not found a helper that was suitable, a companion for him. So the Lord God caused the deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And while he slept, he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh at that place. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man, he made, made, fashioned, formed into a woman. And he brought her and presented her to the man. Then Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. For this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And the man and his wife were both naked and were not ashamed or embarrassed. This is, I'm reading from uh, the Amplified Version. And the verse that I really want to key in upon, it's Wake Up Adam, it's right here in 21. So the Lord caused him to go into deep sleep, and while he was asleep, he took one of his ribs and closed it up, closed up the flesh. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man, he made fashioned into a woman. And he brought her and presented her to Adam. So the Lord calls Adam to sleep. So it's my belief that we have men walking around sleep. They don't even realize who their wives are because they are still in a state of sleep. So, uh, we want them to awaken, and we want God to present the women to the men, but they need to be awakened out of that surgical mode. They have anesthesia, and they're sleeping, but they're walking around, but they're really still asleep, and they don't recognize that this is, this is, my, this is my wife. So, that's our prayer point today. We're going to pray that each woman that God has ordained for each man, whichever man it is, woman, man, belong together. We're going to believe that they will be awakened out of their sleep, out of their slumber, and that they will recognize their wife, and they will do what they need to do to marry. So that's the prayer point. So, Father God, we come to you you in Jesus' name. We thank you for you, your, your, your word. We thank you, God that with you all things are possible. We thank you, God, that there's nothing too hard for you. We thank you, God, that you perfect everything that we're concerned about. We thank you, Father, that, that you know the number of hairs on our head, God, each individual hair. So when we're concerned about something, you're concerned about it. So, Father God, we're asking you today that you will wake up our Adam, God. You will wake them out of that sleepy mode, God. You will rouse them now in Jesus' name. Give them to recognize, God, who their wives are. Present us to our husband, God, and let them say, Yes, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. For this reason shall a man leave for this reason shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall be joined to his wife. And they shall become one flesh. So Father God, we thank you, God, today, in Jesus' name, that our Adams are awake, God. We thank you, God, that we're being presented to them, God. And we thank you, God, 
that they recognize us, God. And thank you, God, that we become their wives, God. And this is for kingdom assignments. Kingdom assignments coming forth. So, God, we thank you for it, Father. And we praise you for it in Jesus' mighty name. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit the like, subscribe, and the notification button. Have a great day.